it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. Okay, so today I wanna to show you an off the mat character and I'm gonna do one from Design Space, which I have been loving lately because we can all pull the same file, work on it together and you know exactly what I'm doing um, as opposed to buying a similar file and then it's not really working. Um, and if you have access, then the files are 50% off. If you don't have access, you can still um, work with the file. We don't pay anything until we actually go to make it. So, and even once you make it, you can go to the make it screen just to look to see what we have and still not pay. It's only when you like authorize the charges at that point do you pay. So let's do this. Um, go into images and I'm gonna do Sesame Street for the first time. I have normally avoided this because I feel like all the characters they're all one color, there's nothing to them, so it makes it really difficult. I know a lot of times people think, oh, well, you know, Big Bird is easy, he's all yellow. Well, when he's all yellow, you're gonna see all the seams, we can't make him big. But I was looking at this file and I kinda like it, so it's this one right here where he's sitting. Um, insert your image, so it's $1.99, which means if you have access and you end up using this file, it's fifty a uh, dollar, sorry. Um, and again, if you don't and you're just practicing along, it's all good. It's free until you go to make it. All right, so let's do, this is why I like this file. So let's make him a little bit bigger first, just so that he's easier to see. So I'm he's big, I put him at 30 inches, but I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit so we can see him all at once. Okay, what I like about this file is I feel like he's he's in a couple of circles. And I was kind of breaking him up almost into four. Normally I break it up into like head, body, bottom. And then in my, in my mind, if I'm doing 10 inches, 10 inches, 10 inches, he's 30 inches and probably seamless because I'm, I'm estimating with 10, we can cut, you know, we can use 12 by 12 cardstock and we can cut to 11 and a half to, by 11 and a half. So that's kind of why I like 30 inches. I like 30 inches for a couple things because of that. It's easy to split things up into threes, right? And do 10, 10, 20, 30. And then you kind of know if you can split it up into threes then you know that it's gonna be seamless for the most part. Um, and I also like 30 inches because it's a great size for parties for kids. I mean, <laughs> I haven't yet had an like an adult order one of these for their birthday parties, but most of the time it's a kid, right? Generally in that range of one to maybe eight years old. And so 30 inches is a good chunk of their body. And so it looks great as party decor on the cake table, on the wall. Um, it's really pretty shimmery and it stands out and it, um, it photos really well. Okay. Now, why I like this image? Because when I break him up into, you know, I was saying head, body, uh, bottom, and 10, 10, 10. In this case, I can almost break him up into fours. Head, neck, or kind of all the way up to here, um, body, and then legs, because these are separate. So I could probably do him bigger, but I'm not going to because I just want to show you what he looks like at 30 inches. The other thing that I like about him is he's almost seamless because you see how like the black is going all the way around. We only need to extend the black and make it a um, like an on purpose seam. We're gonna do and like keep the black line. We just need to extend this black line a little bit more. Then the head would be separated. It would be its own piece and it would be seamless. It would look amazing. And with yellow, you don't necessarily have to do gold. Uh, or glitter cardstock in this case. If we can keep everything seamless, then you could do regular cardstock or you can, you know, bump it up and, and do glitter cardstock. Um, so, still continuing. So, if we created this purpose um, seam right here, we can extend a little black here, here, and that would give us another separated piece here. This would be its own little circle. This would be its own little circle, which leaves just this body. Hopefully this little body's portion is 11 and a half inches or smaller, and then you still have the legs, and the legs will be seamless. So if we can do that, we would, Big Bird at 30 inches would look amazing, right? All right, so I kind of took a peek at this and saw that, and I thought, okay, we can do this, and we can make it look 
really, really authentic. So first thing is, let's um, grab the yellow and just stick with me here. Duplicate it because I want to have these little marks. And so I'm gonna make it look as if I'm the designer and it's supposed to be there. Bring in a circle. And you know, I think I'm gonna zoom in just because it's hurting my eyes a little bit. <laughs> I think I'm getting old. All right, I want this little cutout right here. So I'm gonna make this circle, I'm gonna unlock it. And I'm gonna make sure that my little piece right here, my little oval now, is going to cover just that little cutout right there, okay? So I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. And let's see if I can, um, there. I'm gonna make it a little bit skinnier and I'm gonna get it just to cover that little piece, okay? So watch what happens when I do this. Let's grab these two items and slice. because his whole drawing is kind of like little little birds, right? This is how we drew birds when we were, look, right? That's how we drew birds when we were in second grade. I feel like his whole outline is like this, right? Um, okay, let's get rid of that one. Let's bring in another circle and let's get another one of those little squirrely kind of dealies. <laughs> I don't know what to call these things. I'm gonna take this, maybe this one right here. So I'm going to unlock this, make this kind of flat like that, maybe a little bit smaller. Okay. And when you're slicing, you need to make sure that whatever shape you bring in covers the piece that you want completely and only that piece, right? So in this case, the little, the little squiggly thing is only covered in this. So now I'm gonna grab these two items and I'm gonna slice. Okay, so see, there's this guy right here. So now I'm gonna delete this. What I'm going to do is, let's delete this guy completely. Okay, so now I've got my two little pieces, right? Okay, so let's zoom out for a second. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this yellow piece. I want these two pieces. I feel like these two pieces are gonna look really natural as I create my little circles. So let's, um, okay, let's unlock, let's see, we already made him 30 inches, so let's ungroup this thing. Let's grab this yellow piece, bring it over here, and then we're gonna zoom in while we're working on this piece to make it a little bit easier to do. Okay, so this is pretty zoomed in, right? All right, so here is my head. I want one more piece to go right here to cut into that. So I think I'm gonna use this piece. I'm gonna flip it over like that, and I'm gonna duplicate this because I wanna be able to use this a few times. I'm going to stick it right there, okay. You ready? So now we're gonna, ah, I don't want that, sorry. Let me undo that. I'm gonna grab it from this side, okay? So I'm gonna go here, grab my little squiggly line and my yellow, so that's two pieces. You can only slice two things at one time. So just make sure that that's what you're doing. And then slice. So now, big bird, let's get you, let's get these pieces out. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring him back over, okay? So that you can see what he looks like. Oops. Ah, let me undo that for a second. These images, they keep moving on me, okay. So this is what he looks like. Now you can't tell me that this looks weird or that you didn't, that you think it, it is, I mean, it might, he's a weird looking guy, but there's no way that this looks off, right? But now what we did was we were able to isolate his whole head and it's gonna look amazing. So let's make sure that it is within size though, okay? So let's bring it back over here, go to contour, and we basically wanna hide everything right now. So as soon as it pops up, 
We're gonna hide all. And then what we want is, oh, wait a minute, is the head still not one piece? No, I want the head. Oh, it's still, hold on. Is it still connected? Let me, what happened here? Okay, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. Why is that not its own piece? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? It's still connected right there. Okay, sorry, I had to zoom in myself. I couldn't believe that. Okay, I'm gonna take this. Um, let's go to contour. I want just that little piece right there. So let's get rid of this. So here's my little pick, right? And I'm going to flip it. I'm basically, no, that's not what I wanted. I wanna flip it around here. I'm just going to do this. I'm gonna grab this guy and I'm gonna spin it a little bit and then I'm gonna put him right in here. Wow, that was so crazy. It didn't slice all the way through. It's like the perfect piece that still was hanging on. So now let's slice it. And this should separate everything. Okay, there we go. Okay, and how we know is this piece right now, we're gonna go to contour and see the head is isolated by itself. So let's hide all. And we actually know we want, we want the head, we don't want the body. Let's see. So the head is nine by nine. So we can cut that on the Cricut and he's gonna look seamless, right? Okay, so let's get rid of all these pieces. So we're going to be doing that to break up everything, okay? So we still need this. We gotta go back and contour. Show all, because we want the body back, because we need to do the body as well. But let's zoom out for a second. Where did his hair go? Where did all those pieces go? That's so weird that it broke. So when I did that, what happened to his hair? Okay, hold on, let's go back to images. Let's bring this in. It acted a little bit differently than I thought it would. So let's insert that file. Now this is another reason why I like um, making my image a round whole number. It's because if I had just done this and said, oh, okay, he's about 38.116 inches and I like him like this size. The problem is if we run into an, an issue and we need to bring him back, like I did in here where I, I lost those pieces somehow, I wanna easily just type in 30 and know that he's the right size and that all the pieces fit, okay? So let me see what happened here. Let's ungroup this. And where did those little hair pieces go? They're right there. So weird that they disappeared on me. I'm gonna to go to contour. Oh, maybe because I hid all? Hide all. Okay, here's my little pieces. I don't want this one. All right. So here are my little pieces here, right? So that was easy because we had already done that. Okay, so let's get rid of this. I made the mistake. All right, so I'm gonna bring him back over here. We have these little pieces. I'm gonna zoom in so that we can break up the rest of his body. Right now he's head and then one gigantic piece of body, right? So I want to break him up right, maybe right here. Um, you know what would be nice? Let's go to images again. Let's have a visual. Um, Let's bring him in, insert, but this time, so I don't like bringing in multiple copies because you see all the line items come in like that. I don't like that because then I'm confused as to which one I have. But what you can do is you can grab him and you can flatten. So all these pieces that was him is now just a single line item of a cut and print. And I'm gonna have him here so I can kind of see like what the heck I'm doing. Um, interesting, he has this little cutout, but is it black? It's an interesting 
file. Oh, you know what? Maybe because some of it's gone. Let's go to contour. Oh man. Okay. I must have done something when I contoured him out and it's, he's only in two pieces. So let's go to contour. No worries. Let's get rid of the body because we need, or we need just the face anyway. So I want the face, don't want the, oh my gosh. Want the face, don't want the body. Let's just put him back over here. So this is his face, all beautiful and contoured out. Bring in another image. I don't know what is going on. Maybe if I went back to watch, I, I probably deleted it somehow. So let's bring him in. We want to size him to 30 inches. And then all we want is we want his body, right? Okay, so let's ungroup for a second we want his body but we want to delete all of this we don't need this okay this is our print and cut and then here's our guy okay so let's now zoom in there we go okay so we want to continue here and then one right here that would separate out his neck oh Darn it. And his head is, oh. okay. I am just being really sloppy right now. The reason why you want this is because the head, okay, this is what we're gonna do. I don't know what I did, but I obviously got rid of something that I didn't want to. So let's put this head right on top, okay? And then we're going to slice it out. Oh, I'm now missing a few pieces. Okay. I'm going to grab these two and slice. Hopefully it'll let me do it. Is it just taking a while? What's going on? Okay. Oh my gosh. It's killing me. All right. So here is our head. This was slightly off. Don't worry about it. Let's delete this. I mean, this is me just kind of like fixing things. Um, if you didn't get rid of all the pieces like I did the first time around, this would be a lot easier. But this is, this is learning design space, so I don't mind making this mistake because you're gonna make it on other things. But let's go to contour really quickly. And let's, um, let's get rid of all of that. So let's go and bring in, oops, not an image, sorry. Let's see if it will. I wanna bring in a square. And I basically just wanna leave the body because I wanna work on the body, I'm, so I'm gonna make this big. and move it down kind of like this okay and i'm going to slice these two so i'm basically going to get rid of everything that's left up there and get rid of all your slice results these are all the kind of things that i didn't know how to do when i first got my cricut but the more you understand how you can kind of do all these workarounds then you're able to do so much more so i'm going to get rid of these little things because i don't need those all right so now i have a clean body the way i should have all right so now what i want to do is now we can zoom in and we can look at this a little bit closer and and do those little marks where are my little here my guys okay so i'm gonna want to do let's arrange send to the back so that way i can see these little guys more um let's see where's my other piece there it is let's make a couple copies of these because we're going to be using quite a few of these all right so now let's bring over that little C-ish guy, okay? And because it's kind of going in that direction, I'm flipping it over and I wanna do something like this. Okay, so I'm connecting that 
And then I need one more piece over here. So we'll do that in a second. Maybe bring this guy over. We'll do that in a second. Let's grab these two pieces and slice. See, and to me that looks very natural. All right, so I've got this piece. I'm gonna use that little piece there. I'm gonna contour and I'm gonna get rid of this. So I have this little guy right here and I'm gonna extend this little thing right here. And this is probably not my best work, but you get the idea. I'm actually not making this. This is just a tutorial on how to like manipulate design space. Okay, so now I'm gonna continue that. I'm gonna slice this out because I need to make sure that this piece is its own separate piece and it needs to be, it needs to have a clean break. And I think it does. Okay, so you see, yeah, that's a clean break now. We need to connect this hand right here and we need to connect quite a few pieces, just extend it. So kind of like using this piece and going like something like this. And we gotta bring it to the front so that we know it's connected. Otherwise, it won't be a separated piece, right? So we're gonna do that. Let's slice that out. Okay, so I picked up Maybe, did I pick up more than two pieces? There, I can slice. When slicing is grayed out, that means you did not pick exactly two pieces, always. Unless for some reason design space is glitchy that day, um, I would say 99.9% .9 of the time it's user error. <laughs> okay, so let's look at this little wing right here. So it is now, let's, the outline is almost complete. It needs. This is not connected here and here and here. Wow, but you know, we're getting there. So we're gonna use the same piece again. I'm just gonna keep turning it. Okay, let's arrange them to the front so that I can make sure that it's connecting all the pieces that I want. Okay, turning it, okay, like that. Hold on. Okay, so let's grab that and slice. Okay, I grabbed too many pieces. There must be something underneath. Okay, let's move this for a second. Okay, slice. And we're getting there. Getting there, getting there. Okay, so let's move this guy over. Let's grab the same piece and see where we still need to, we need to connect there, there, and there. And then that would mean this whole piece is separated. So we're almost there. Let's grab this and kind of extend it a little bit. That's not gonna look that clean, but honestly right now he's just big bird. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> um, again, if I was if I was actually making this for a customer, I would definitely make sure that that looks a little bit cleaner, so it doesn't look jaggedy, like that. But that's okay. We need to connect two more spots, and then I'll show you how to break this apart. And then I'll show you. I don't know if we need to do the rest of this, but you can kind of get the gist of what we're doing, right? So let me grab this guy again. And let's make sure, I'll bring it to the front, arrange, send to the front. And maybe this time, I'm just gonna do something like this. I'm gonna connect, I'm going to, I'm going to, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna connect these two pieces. And let's grab it like this and slice. Okay. Oh, what happened? How did it slice down here? It moved on me. That's weird. All right, I'm gonna do it again. Did I? 
It's playing tricks on me. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna move it back for a second just so that we can kind of see where we are right now. We can get rid of that little piece up there. So let's go to contour. I don't know what that little piece is. Um, is it connected? Okay, there. So I love contour. Please get comfortable with it because it's gonna help you move all your pieces. Okay, so this is what he looks like now. I'm gonna zoom out for a second. Right, he looks good. There's no way that the head doesn't look like it doesn't it can't be its own little piece, right? Let's see. And then uh, we extended this. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like now, okay? So I personally, I really do think he looks good. I'm not gonna finish the rest of it though. So I'm gonna delete all this because now you kind of get, like we need to just keep breaking up those pieces. All right. So I'm gonna separate this into three pieces. So because I said separating it into three pieces and using contour, I need three copies of this. So here's my second copy and my third copy. I'm gonna to go to contour and, all right, I'm gonna hide all and it's going to leave me this big piece. Okay, um, you know what? I'm gonna show all for a second because there's a lot of little cutouts. So I'm just gonna remove this and this and then select on these little individual pieces, okay? Okay, so this big piece is still, oops, hold on. Let's go to contour and get rid of this top little piece up here. There's a little piece at the top. Okay. So this guy is 14 inches by 12. He is almost there. We just need to maybe connect this right here and here, and then we separate the arm out from the body, okay? but. We already did that on the left-hand side, so I'm gonna show you what the dimensions are on the left-hand side. So here's our second piece. We're gonna contour, and we're gonna hide all. It's gonna leave us this piece right here. Let's bring in the little cutout. Okay, and we don't want this piece. Wait a minute, what did it leave me? Sorry, let me go back. Show all, hide all. What did it leave me? It left me this big piece. That's not the piece I wanted. Okay, so I don't want this. I want this. I don't want this. Okay, here we go. So this guy is now 6.6 .6 by 5.8. So I'm gonna bring it in here, right? It's He's his own little piece. And then I wanna do the wing, his arm. Go to contour. I'm gonna hide all. I want this piece here. I don't want this big gigantic piece, but I need all these little cutouts. So I'm selecting them because I want them back in. And now this guy is eight by eight. So you can cut him on the Cricut and it doesn't, you're not going to have seams because we're making them deliberate separate pieces, right? So on this one, we need to do the same thing here so that it's broken up into two pieces because it's very close to being 11 and a half by 11 and a half, right? So if we went in here and like I said, let's zoom in so I can show you where I would do it. I would take my little, you know, like bird, bird um, shape and continue these two right here, connect these two, um, extend this, and here and here. So this piece is gonna be its own thing and then this piece right here is gonna be its own thing. And I think with those two pieces, with it being broken up into two pieces, both pieces will be 11 and a half by 11 and a half or smaller so that you can cut it and it's gonna have deliberate seams and it's gonna look seamless because it is seamless because we made deliberate cuts in it, okay? So I'm gonna bring this back I think everything else on his face is good, like all these little pieces. So now we just have to deal with the feet. And let's look at, not this, but the pink. 
Okay, so these two pieces are good. We don't need to worry about that. Now the feet, we do need to break this up because right now it's showing as one big orange piece that's 22 inches by 6.7. We don't need to, we could just slice this out. So let's at least slice it in half. Um, and then if you want to, I, because I would use orange glitter cardstock, I would wanna separate these into separate pieces so that I can jam them all up together in the, in the make it screen. But I'm gonna show you the difference. I'm not going to do it on this one. Let's just slice these two out so that at least we can cut them into on with a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. So this piece now be, is 8.6 by 6.6, .6, so perfect. We can cut that on the Cricut. You can get rid of the slice results. And now this is good as well. Okay, let's get rid of this. We don't need our visual anymore. Um, we need to separate this piece, but I got rid of my pieces already. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna do a quick cutout by using another image that I think kind of looks like this. It's I Love Glitter, and that's the font name. Oops. If you have this one, then you're all good. If you need to download it, it's free, and it's on dafont.com. So it's D A D as in dog, D A F O N T.com. It's a legitimate site. Don't worry, you're not gonna, your computer's not gonna go down. But you want the I Love Glitter font because the text that you want, it's the square bracket, it's to the right of the letter P. Because look at what this looks like, okay? It's, you know, it's this little squiggly line. So it's really nice to slice things up because it's, it's got that little curve. So I'm gonna zoom in. I'm doing a quick, easy cut because I already got rid of my other pieces, my little bird pieces that we were talking about, right? So I'm just going to, I just wanna separate this out. So this is not gonna look clean. This is not the way I would recommend it, but I'm going to do it because I want to finish. And I just wanna show you what this looks like. So I'm gonna connect it here. Slice. Okay, did that work? Okay, then so that is separated out. I'm going to contour. I don't want all these pieces. I just want the big long piece because I'm gonna use the same piece right now and I'm going to connect. Remember, this is not ideal. I'm just doing it so that I can separate the two pieces, okay? So this is not gonna look as good as I would want to. Oops, jeez. Let me undo that. Let's slice this out. See, it's a really bad, a really bad cut. So I'm gonna move this for a second. I'm gonna grab this one. I'm gonna finish, because I need to connect these two pieces right here. Um, I'm gonna use that piece. I'm gonna contour, hide all. I just need a little sliver that's left. And I'm gonna connect these two. Okay. Grab these two and slice. So you can see you can be, oops, sorry. You can barely see that. Let me get rid of all the slice results. Okay, so this little guy, hold on, let's get rid of this. This little guy, I wanna basically switch him up into two pieces, right? So let's go and duplicate and then contour. So hopefully he's in two pieces, at least two pieces. Okay, good. So I want to get rid of this, 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 and this. So now this guy is 7.8 by 7.95, so I can cut that on the Cricut, right? And he goes, let's zoom out for a second. Okay. He's gonna go right here. 
he's looking funky with those extra cuts let's go to contour this one and get rid of the arm so we're going to hide all and I want this back this back this back and this So you see, he doesn't even look that bad. Let's see how big this piece is. 11.3 by 9.7. Yes, because <laughs> you can cut up to 11.5. So he is going to look seamless because he is seamless. He has deliberate cuts that breaks him up into five big pieces, the head, the neck, each arm, and then his body. And then you're gonna have his feet come in. These are gonna be seamless as well. So he is gonna look so good. And then the only place that you're gonna see seams are in the black background, but you can see most of the colors hide the black. So the seams are gonna be like minimal. If you add them all up, they might total like an inch, but until then they're gonna be like little slits that you're not gonna notice because the yellow is gonna be beautiful. His eyes are gonna be beautiful. Everything, if you have a, like a little glitter here and there too, it's gonna to be so shimmery and so eye-catching, no one's gonna notice the little, little, little slits in the in the black background, okay? I mean, even though I jacked up that whole slicing right here just because I was trying to finish, it looks, it doesn't look crazy to me. I don't know, you tell me, <laughs> post your comments. I know this looks weird like another finger, but if you didn't know that that was there before, he just looks like Big Bird to me, right? We could, I could have done a better job. I could have made it look more natural like his head and his arm if we had continued the cuts over here. So I definitely, that was my fault. <laughs> okay, let's go look at this for a second. Why are there, so sometimes images in design space, the designer has um, files that are hidden. So if they're hidden, I just delete them. I'm not using that one. Let's see what we have here. Okay, we have a couple of, I'm gonna delete this and delete this one. So here's my black background. Arrange, I'm gonna send to the front. Okay, so now we have a piece that's 22 inches by 30 inches. It's way too big, right? So we need to slice this up into pieces that the Cricut can cut. So we're gonna basically slice them up into big chunks. And then once you have him off the mat, like after you cut it, then we're gonna you know, tape him back together and then he's gonna be the background. Every, all these pieces are going to be seamless and kind of big pieces. They're gonna go on top. They're gonna to cover all your seams. He's going to look amazing at 30 inches. But let's slice this up because you don't know how to do that yet. Or maybe you do, but this is how I'm gonna do it. Um, go to shapes, bring in a square. Technically, we can cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half, right? I don't like dealing with half inches, so I'm gonna do 11 by 11. Um, and then we'll deal with it later um, because he's a little bit wide. He's 22.4, which means 11 plus 11 is only 22. Um, so I, I'll show you how to deal with that in a second, but let's make this 11 by 11, okay? So here we go. We're, okay, so actually that's, let's just build him, okay. Put him over somewhere in this space and we're gonna to round to the nearest whole number. So 40.1 becomes 40, 3.6 becomes four. We wanna do this because it's, it's just better if we make any mistakes, it's easier to figure out where to put our squares and it's still flushed and there's no gaps and there's no overlays, okay? So here's our first one. We're going to duplicate it and we're gonna put it really, really close to the first one. If you put it really close, you just have to go to the position feature and round to the nearest whole number. So 51.1 is 51, 4.1 is four. And let's see if I did the math right. So this is 40 and four. That means going across, you go all the way to 40, go down four units, and this is the beginning of our square. So we're at 40, 40 plus 11 is 51. And here's 51, this is where we start. So we know they're right next to each other, completely flushed. So right now we have this selected, hit the shift key, grab both squares and duplicate because we're duplicating a set of squares that are already flushed with each other. So now we can put it here, go up to position feature and round. 40.08 is 40, 15.1 is 15. 
And then we're going to duplicate this set of squares and we're going to put it down here and round. So 40.0 becomes 40, 26.1 becomes 26. Now, he is a little bit wider, we know that. So we're gonna arrange center the front. We also know that, okay, so let's scoot him over a little bit. Let's change this one to 11 and a half. And change this one to 11 and a half. Oops. And we'll reposition it in a second. So this one is going to be 39.5 and at 26, so 39.5 plus 11.5 is 51. No, is it 51 or? Hold on, if I put it close enough. Let's move this one. Okay, yeah, let's put it really close. So 51 and 26, perfect. Okay, so he's still a little bit off. We're gonna move him over there. Now he's completely in there. And he's gonna be big. He's This is gonna be one piece, this is gonna be a piece. Now, his head though, we saw earlier, his head does not need to be two pieces. So what you can do is arrange, send him to the back for a second. Get rid of this square. Move this one over and 46 and, oops, 46. There. Now you can scroll down, arrange, send to the front. So he's going to be in five big pieces. It's going to be his head and then four pieces here. He's going to look great. And look, he's getting cut right here. He's going to be covered completely. So now let's slice him into pieces that we know we can cut. So we're doing the head first, and then we're just going to go all the way around. Slice up this piece. Slice up this piece. Slice out this piece. Okay, and then let's move him so we can get rid of all the slice results. So here's his head, 9.3 by 10.9, so good. 8.5 by 11, 6.7 by 11, 11.3 11 by eight, all good. And this is all good. So he is in five big pieces, right? So this is what he's going to look like. All your colored pieces go on top. You're going to tape this together. I mean, obviously, you're going to tape them so that you, you're not going to have all these gaps, right? Because it's going to go straight up next to each other. Let's go to make it. So I'm going to show you what everything looks like. He's going to look so good. This is the first time that I'm excited about a Sesame Street character because I've always said no to them. I said I just don't have it available because I don't want... People will order and I can make it, but if it looks bad, they're gonna say that it was bad even though that's what they wanted. So, <laughs> all right, here's the white. Here's the black pieces. We're all good there. Um, I don't think we can consolidate any of these pieces. So we're gonna have five big black pieces and that's final. Okay, this is his foot. I wonder if we can get both on the same page. So let's click on this, click on the three dots, move object, and we're gonna move it to the other sheet, okay? So it is here, I'm gonna to try to move it here to see if I can fit both on one page so that it's one, one piece of cardstock. So yeah, so I'm gonna rotate this and it looks like we're good. So instead of cutting on two pieces of cardstock, it's one. Here's our yellow. Here's one big piece. And I think the yellow are gonna be big pieces as well. I don't think we can consolidate them, but I could be wrong. And you know, this one, this one maybe could fit with 13. So let's click on this, three dots, move object. And give me just one second. 
I have someone watching my daughter, so I just got a text. I just want to make sure everything is good. Okay. Um, all right, so this piece, I want to move it to this one. Confirm. And I think it will fit. Yay! All right, so our yellow is one, two, three, four pieces of yellow. I mean, it's his gigantic body. Um, this is our pink, looks good. Tongue looks good, and that's it. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about this piece. All right, so let's cancel. I'm gonna save it. Let me know, comments, questions. I want your feedback, and then if you have a special request like this person, let me know how big. So this was Big Bird 30 inches. And yeah, just let me know. And if, if it's a des design space file, let me know which image. If it's an SVG file that you have that you want me to work on, um, email me at ann, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. All right, bye.